What's going on, guys? Sidekicks411. Today, we're looking at some Yeezy 350s. We got the Ash Blue Joints. Just a little bit of background on these. I did go and complete a trade for these. So over on Trade Block, I went and traded my Supreme Vans, a pair of Supreme Van Lows for um, the Yeezy 350 Ash Blues. So we'll go over value. My, um, my black Supreme Vans, which I actually have on the channel, I already did a full video on. They were worth about 150. These joints are worth about 250, so it was a little bit of a trade up. We got a little bit of value out of it. These were were used, but the cheapest I could see a listing is on GOAT for about 250. So, you know, I got my value into it. And for me personally, this is so much of a nicer sneaker. I don't wear Vans. I don't like Vans. I don't really like flats or um, anything like that. You know, when my my favorite shoes are more the retro Jordans and the 350 Easies. So getting into all the little features and whatnot. You've got uh, this type of gray, these subtle grays, and then these hints of blues knitted underneath the gray. Got different shades of blue. So you've got like this darker blue down here, a little bit of a lighter blue. And then you've got your normal medial side of the Yeezy 350, except this way they're coming with a lot more very light blues. It almost looks like teal to me, to be honest. I see almost hints of green. You got the side sole looking like some alien type of design for the midsole. You know, it's standard on the Yeezy, but it's very, it's kind of uh, out there with the way that they have this just so uh, thick and then the different ridges and whatnot. You know, very, very nice. Now, we got uh, the inside, the back tab. You can see we've got the Adidas logo, just the three stripes. We've got our inside, the, the sole and whatnot. Got the fat laces, very nice touch. These are non-reflective. They don't have any reflective type of elements to them, but they are very comfortable. I wore them a couple times. These things are the utmost comfort. You've got the stitching down the middle. Now this, in all honesty, I'm not a fan of just because, and the Yeezy V1s they had, or even if you go and search up just the Yeezy Beluga V2, you can see that they got real stitching here that comes out in a manner that it looks like it's hand done, like the shoes are almost hand knit. And I prefer that because to me, that looks a lot more classy. You know, a lot of um, Italian shoes are handmade, a lot of the Versace and Gucci's. The reason they run for so much money is because it's hand done stitched shoes. So even if these aren't made by hand, the fact that they are looking like they might be is a really high quality feature and i do appreciate that now getting into the bottoms the bottoms weren't terrible by any means um the dude definitely had worn them however i was trading a pair of shoes that um you know i had never once worn and never would wear for something i'm gonna be happily beating up you know so we got the yeezy 350 ash blues here you know that yellow stripe looks crazy the way that it comes out it's a nice subtle little feature. I like the different grays on it. Overall, it's a very solid colorway. You know, I'm excited to wear these. I'm excited to beat them up and start getting my some use on it, start logging some miles into these. So definitely looking forward to that. Now going forward in the channel, we are gonna be having a lot more content coming out. I've got the Beluga 2.0 reflectives coming in. So keep an eye out on that. If you like Yeezys, we got more Yeezys coming, more Yeezy videos. We also got some off-white lots, some LeBron joints. We got some OG Jordans. So if you guys could like, comment, subscribe, I do greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And I will be catching you in the next one.